Hey guys, today I'm making some retro inspired Dyna furniture. I actually recorded this about 7 months ago and just never had a chance to post it so I really hope you'll enjoy. I am going to be soldering in this video but for those of you who don't have soldering supplies I will be putting some alternatives kind of in the subtitles throughout the video. A tutorial for the signs as well as the burgers can be found on my channel. So to start off, I found the measurements I wanted to use for the height of the table as well as the height of the seat on the chair. And then I just made some basic sketches of the design. For the tabletop, I'm going to be using this piece of wood that I got from Maiva here on YouTube and I'm not sure exactly what it's for, I got it quite a long time ago. I think it's for scrapbooking or card making or something like that, but any piece of wood will do. You can then begin making the different parts for the table and the first thing I did was just measure out a square for the foot or the base as well as a circle for the top where the tabletop is going to be glued onto. I cut these from a 0.5 or 0.6 millimeter copper sheet and then for the base or the foot I also added a piece of wood underneath just to make it a bit thicker. I also sanded each of the pieces I made and I did that for all the pieces in this video but to save time I'm not going to show that. Then to make the single standing leg, I just rolled up a sheet of copper that was 0.09mm thick and I just used a knitting needle to get the right shape. To make the frame that goes around the tabletop, I just took four pieces of copper wire that is 1.5mm thick, then soldered those together and bent them to fit the size and shape of the tabletop. If you have any questions about the materials I use for soldering, please check out my vintage bench tutorial as that one has a lot of the basic information. I then just soldered it together and I also added a tiny piece of the thin copper sheet just to get a stronger joint. And I did go over this with a couple of files to make it a bit more neat and less visible. You can then put the pieces for the stand together and I also added kind of like a footrest which was basically just made out of two straight pieces of wire as well as one circular one. Those are all the pieces you need for the table and now it's ready for sanding, painting and being glued together. Next you can make the chairs and I first made the frame the same way as the one that goes around the tabletop. I then bent the legs following my sketch and to make these a bit stronger I used 2mm wire for this. You can then solder those together, add the circle frame on top and then if you want to add a footrest again just make a circle out of another piece of wire and solder this in place. Of course you can use any paint you want but I use spray paint and I first added a primer made for metal, then the color and finally a top coat. Lastly, to make the seat, I just took a piece of faux leather, some batting, as well as a piece of pommel clay in the right size. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial. I also just want to quickly thank you for all the support on my second channel, I really appreciate it. 
And because of that, I will be posting two tutorials on there this week. So I'll be posting one either tomorrow or Friday as well as Sunday. 